The other question we have is, is it a good time to get into the market? But also around this, discuss about a good time to get out of the market or to move down a notch in your risk portfolio. There's a there's a, a lot of people that are around the retirement age or retired and uh, were really wanting to see their portfolio go up a little bit before they move down to a more conservative portfolio. Now, if you're looking at trying to get into the market or you're wanting to invest more money, uh, then is now a good time to get into the market? Well, it potentially would be, but not as good as it was in March of 2009 at the bottom of the market um, at that point in time when in the on the Australian market, the index was, uh, the All Ordinaries index was 3,111 points. That was the low point of the market. So at the high point in, in November 2007, the Australian market was just under six, under 6,800 points. Uh, it fell all the way down to here. Uh, we got back up to 5,000 points around uh, April of 2010. And then we've had a bit of a shaky ride uh, up until now when we've had this last little dip here. Uh, as of the 9th or end of last week, we're back at 4,262 points. Now, the idea would be that if you were at retirement or approaching retirement, that you would hold on to your current investment option until it continued back up to potentially these kind of levels or even um, around the 5,000 points and then move back to a more conservative portfolio. Uh, But the challenge is and the difficulty is in the current market is that we don't know how long this is going to take. If you look at the longer term cycles, um, it's pretty easy to uh, look back on history and see that every time in history, the previous highs have been exceeded again. So some point in time in the future, we'll get to 6,800 and exceed 6,800 points. Uh, But the challenge is for everyone making decisions about their uh, retirement and funding their retirement is that how long is it going to take to get there? And that's the unknown. Um, If we look at it from a... um, you know, what's happened in these last couple of years. So, you know, this is a significant downturn as we've, uh, during the global financial crisis. If you put it in perspective, these list, uh, these little boxes, I know it's very small and very hard to, to see, but these boxes here represent every single year of the 110 years of Australian share market history. This line here shows the negative return. So 21 of those years, uh, sorry, 110 years, um, 21 of those years are uh, are negative returns and uh, 89 of them or 81% are positive returns. Now, the key ones to look at are the 2009 year um, where there was a, uh, on the Australian share market, a positive 30 to 40% return. And on the 2008 year, uh, it was the you know outlier by far, a negative return. So it's really just emphasizing the, the um, negativity of, or how, how negative or how significant that, um, that period was. Uh, or the other interesting chart that's available is, is the benefit of investing following a negative year. So these uh, are, the, again, um, the returns on the Australian share market since 1900. And it, it's, I guess it illustrates the benefit of investing in a negative year. So if you're investing at a, in a, during this year, say during the depression, um, then uh, the following year you would have returned uh, you know, 20% or more. Uh, so if you actually invested in a negative 30% market, then you would you know, potentially uh, have made a significant return uh, there. So for the people that uh, had the contrarian approach during the global financial crisis and invested some money during the 2009 financial year during those negative that negative period, uh, they could have actually you know uh, benefited significantly from it uh, in this uh, the, the year following that. Um, so the I guess the the purpose of this chart is really just to show that when you are actually investing in in these down periods, and you can be investing in those through just your superannuation guarantee, so your employer contributions. If you're putting money into the market throughout this period on a monthly or fortnightly basis as your pay goes in, you're buying the same 
units, the same investments, the same shares um, at half price at this point in time than you were at this point in time. So whilst it feels really uncomfortable putting money into the market at this point in time, you're actually buying the assets at half the value they were before. And if you bought some assets here, then they've gone up um, in value uh, uh, by... Um, you know, by a third uh, or a 33% uh, return if you bought some assets here. So it's not always a bad thing to be putting money into the market in a negative year. It's just that it's um, it doesn't feel that good doing it. Now, getting back to those longer term returns, if you look at, this is the 25 years from 1985, and uh, you can see, I think this is the 1987 uh, stock market crash where it, it fell significantly. Uh, but as you can see, uh, this return, uh, sorry, this high was exceeded again. Um, not exactly sure when that was. Might have been the 90, um, uh, four, uh, 1994. It was exceeded again. So it actually took, you know, potentially seven years to get back to that that peak again. The question is, how long will it take to get back to this peak again? Is it going to be another seven years before we get back there uh, again uh, as well? That's the big question. And I. And when you're thinking about it from your own personal circumstances, um, uh, that's what you need, uh, really need to put a plan in place. And potentially, if you uh, are retired or looking at retiring in the next couple of uh, years, uh, then you might set some um, rules in place uh, where you might actually move parts of your portfolio uh, to the more conservative option that you're wanting to move to over time. So it's not just all happening at once. You're actually uh, reducing the risk of that move by doing it over time. And uh, Christian Super with their flexible investment options uh, allow us to do that uh, now.